Hello friends, welcome, welcome to my channel Z Network Lessons and this is about Altaf Qureshi again with the video and in this video I'll be uh, showing you guys how you can add the Cisco, uh, not the Cisco sorry, um, how you can add the um, Docker uh, nodes into your GNS3 VM and this is very really important in the sense that it gives you a lot of flexibility uh, so uh, I mean earlier what uh, uh, we had to do is to access the GUI of the um, uh, of the firewall or the load balancer you need to have a Windows PC right but now what you can do is you can uh, run these light machines of uh, uh, based on Linux uh, called the dockers which are very very light OS I would say not complete OS I mean just applications uh, like the um, uh, terminal uh, terminal uh, this uh, uh, window and then you would have the browser and then there is another one for network automation which has the Python 3 Python 2 inbuilt in it so you can use that for um, I mean um, learning the uh, automation right so I will show you how to add those but before that what you need to do is you need to set up the GNS3 VM in a sense it should be able to reach the internet how I have done it is I have gone to the settings and I have um, actually uh, bridged is it's one of the adapter okay once you bridge it you have to reboot and you will see it will uh, uh, get the IP address from the um, subnet that you have uh, uh, your PCs in right so it has the uh, subnet uh, I mean IP address from 1.9 and then I have my IP on 1.7 uh, my machine on 1.7 so then what I have done is I have gone to my preferences and I have edited and added the remote server as 1.9 the GNS3 VM so now if you go to the VM here and you can ping the google.com so this is uh, uh, mandatory for this to work google.com so now you can reach internet right so your PC uh, your GNS3 VM should be able to reach internet that is the prerequisite uh, now what you need to do is you go to the new template and hit on next and then hit on here you have to search for web term web term this is the docker file um, uh, I mean appliance and hit on next and then finish and you will see the web term is here now it's not uh, actually downloaded it's just the template now you have to drag and drop this on your working area just drag and drop and this will start downloading the uh, image from the internet okay wait for a while you can see this will download the image from the um, server okay wait a second uh, let me try this start and yeah it has downloaded it will uh, depending on the internet uh, speed that you have uh, it is going to um, work like that so I will stop it and to configure the IP address what you do is stop the node right click and go and say edit config so here what you need to do is to enable DHCP you can go and uncomment these two lines right and come and comment these two lines and save it and then uh, just to demonstrate I'll add a NAT uh, node here I'll run on VM so NAT is basically um, its first thing is uh, it's working as a DHCP server and then it will help your nodes that are connected to the NAT uh, to um, reach internet so this is this will be a gateway for this uh, web tool so I'll start and it will get an IP address from the NAT and it will have the um, gateway as the NAT one and it can reach to internet so I'll show you double click on this so you can see uh, it's the browser if you close the browser here okay close tabs everything uh, click somewhere here you will get the terminal so if you uh, go and say if config you will see that it has got an IP address from this range so that NAT gateway is uh, giving IP address from this range okay and the mm, uh, default gateway is which one I can't see so it should be probably one uh, anyways so if I go here I can ping internet um, like 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8. I can ping it right 
and I can also resolve the um, DNS right so this is how you do it so uh, okay let's close this let's open the um, uh, Mozilla Firefox like this and you can go here and now you can browse the internet obviously so yeah so that is your web term uh, let me close this now second thing what I want to show you is the uh, stop this uh, the network automation for that also you have to go and mm, hit on the new template hit next and then you can write here network automation docker this one and then install and then next finish and you will see this here for this uh, to install you have to just drag and drop it on the working area leave it there uh, give it some time uh, it takes some time and it will um, come up on the screen and it will be downloaded uh, from the server itself from the cloud okay so give it some time uh, till then I will just pause my video okay now you can see the docker is here uh, I mean network automation um, this docker is here so I will also connect this to the NAT gateway yeah okay uh, okay one uh, only one so I will delete this one I don't need a delete and then I will go and uh, like this connect it to this one and then also to get the IP address you can go and edit config here do the same thing or you can do it through the CLI uh, also the terminal from the terminal but yeah I will do it uh, from here and save this okay and I will turn it on so basically uh, the difference between this aut network automation and the web term is that this is uh, having a um, lot of uh, uh, functions as compared to the web term right so let this boot up and I'll show you that uh, you have the Python version already installed on it so if you do the um, Python dash dash version I think this is the yeah so you can see you already get the Python 2.7.17 um, installed and if you go and check the IP address it should have an IP address from the same range right and I can try to um, being edited it should be able to reach like that so this is the uh, web term and the network automation that is very handy uh, for you to do your labs and plus there is another one if you want a light um, uh, Linux machine uh, full-fledged so you can go and let me delete this you can go and download the tiny core so you can go next uh, next or not here sorry so in the guest you can scroll and download which one let me just see you can download Kali Linux all these uh, you can download like the same the procedure is same mm, the one yeah so I want you to download this one so if you install here and next and next and yeah so you need to download this tiny code image this is very light you can get it and uh, from the um, this is this is free and you can get it from on uh, the internet so if you go and here if you say download the tiny core download you will find the uh, link here this is free you can go and download these images and then again um, so they see this is the tiny core you can go here and download and then uh, the procedure is same uh, like I have shown you to add the VIOS so yeah this is a uh, uh, I mean, I mean very light operating system uh, so guys yeah this is it for this video um, if you like my video and the content um, that I put on uh, please do like share and subscribe my channel and um, yeah guys uh, stay connected and see you in my next video bye bye Thank you.